Uh, no, all right. Back to the inventory. Let's check the book. Hopefully. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by wrong hands, I mostly mean bit. No, you don't good so far, man. Can we not use this on yourself? What about the time safety? After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. I wasn't trying to get you to put it away, Mai. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Okay. Once I know when to look for Doc. There doesn't appear to be much in here. The circuit display. Uh, that's the clue thing. The circuit timer switch. Hmm. Stuck already. <laughs> I'm very good at these games. Very, very good at these games. What else do we have in our inventory? Anything else on the tape recorder? Okay. Doesn't appear to be. What if we... Can you use that with the circuit keeper? I don't think so. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. There's a photo. Nothing more in here. I don't know if that's a future shoe or a past shoe. It looks like a past shoe, to be honest. Right, let's exit this. Let's get out of the car. Einstein may have a clue. Uh -huh. What about Einy? What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einy? Good to know. Thanks, man. What about having a sniff of the old shoe, Einstein? Can you do anything with this? What do you know about this shoe, Einy? Great Scott! I think he's onto something. Oh, good man. Good dog. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We are? How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einy? So look, we've got help wanted. <clears throat> There's a buzzer. And he's definitely interested in this door. Anything else around here of any interest? Da, 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 da. Hover, hover, hover. Liquor store door. Hmm. Let's press the buzzer. Strickland? Oh god. Step away from the door! <laughs> now, let me get a look at you. <laughs> Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! I'm no hooligan. Uh, yep. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8.30? Unpunctual manner? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Okay, well, who are you, lady? E. Strickland. You aren't related to uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> Yes, uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. Oh, what's with the megaphone, man? State your business, child. You're making me miss Merv. Well, see, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? All right, look at your shoe, lady. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Alrighty. This. A shoe? Now, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Ooh. Oh, good stuffs. <laughs> We're in. Einstein, behave. Leave that creature outside. Yeah, oh, fair enough. Sorry, Sorry Einstein. <laughs> Very cool. So she's got the matching pair. 
Give me the year and date. Give me the date, old lady. Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Yeah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. Ooh. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. <laughs> all right then, Miss Strickland. You have to tea on. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. Old people, man. Old people. Ooh, stack of newspapers. Hey! You kids! Put out those cigarettes! <laughs> Alright, what have we got in here? Don't touch those! Sorry. My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. <laughs> we don't have jam, lady. Got the candy, got the tea. Got some pictures. Ooh, well. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? <laughs> Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. <laughs> it's more than I wanted to know about Strickland, that's for sure. <laughs> Phenomenal. Anything else out here? We've got a radiator. Okay, let's check that out. Man. She keeps it hot in here. That probably wasn't a good idea. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. And don't touch anything. Okay. I promise. Not at all. Mrs. Strickland. Mrs. Strickland, I guess. Got the candy, cat bowls. Let's check these newspapers out now she's away. This is not going to go well. Ooh. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. I don't remember that. <laughs> Nothing else. Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. Well, I keep checking. I don't even that. know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Uh, that makes sense, actually. That does make sense. You know, there's no real clues. What about the shoe? Maybe the old shoe had uh, something on the bottom. Einstein of it. brought me that shoe from the past, but when in the past? Yes, that's the problem. Yeah, Ooh. that's peculiar. Ooh. The water still hasn't come to a boil. I see. All right, I've got your number, lady. I got your number. Edna, I've got some candy here. Oh, the candy looks older than I am. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ms. Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so we can distract the old lady. That's lovely. What else do we have around here? Binoculars. Can we... Mind if I take a look? Borrow those? Go ahead, dear. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, he wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out-of-control hedonist, <laughs> just like his father. Yeah, we know all too There's well. There's a clue to find a doc out there. I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. That's fair enough. We don't have a telly. The newspapers don't know help. The drawer doesn't open up. What else have we got in this room? Back to the streets. I suppose there's a kitchen. Hmm. Nothing else around here of any real interest. More pictures, photos on the wall, got the radiator. Maybe, maybe the candy has some sort of extra clue. Let's go check out the kitchen quickly. Kitchen door. Uh, Miss Strickland, about your tea. Uh, you forgot to turn on you! the. It's spelled with a U. <laughs> you illiterate vandal. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to the lady. See if there's anything else here that we can get. 
Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? Yeah, when did you lose your shoes? Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. Uh -huh. A speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Yeah. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. No rights. That sounds pretty wow, cool. Wow, speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. Fair enough. Where was it? So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg <laughs> hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? A video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. Good the to video know. store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Alright, it's good to know. Good to know. What is with all the newspapers? What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Wow. Hmm. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. <laughs> I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Wow. Wow. Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on <laughs> lower things. Is that... Chip Tannen! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! Tannen, wow. <laughs> Fair enough. Got all the Don't information. Let me keep you from your business. I don't think we're going to get much more out of her. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Now, I'm pretty much guessing that we're not going to find anything in the newspapers. But maybe we can go check out the video store. However, let's fake a tea. <laughs> tea boiling. Here's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now. Surely it is, Edna. She does love to take her time over this. Let's check the newspapers real quick, Marty. Come on, come on, ruffle through him like a pro. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. Nope. All right, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Oh, man. So, all right. All right, maybe... Uh, do we have to go... Oh, hang on. Can we see anything with the binoculars now? Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Now check out the video store. Oh, yeah, Valley Video. 32! Nice. So 
So 1931. Rebuilt in February. in February, 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. <laughs> So if that is established in 32, which is a year after it burnt down, we're looking at February 31. Come on, Marty. You've got this. You can do this. I told Oops. you not to touch those! <laughs> Dang it, we're going to have to get rid of the old deer again. One last time. You've got the year, Marty. You've got the month. Fake the tea. There's the whistle! <laughs> Surely the water's boiling by now. You'd think, Edna, wouldn't you? You would think. Check it out. This must be it. You've got everything you need, Marty. Everything Let's you see. need. see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley police station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl, Carl Sagan? Sagan? It's Doc! <laughs> Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Oh, that's what happened. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let no! me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Help! Away! <laughs> I'm being attacked by hooligans! Slackers, love. Slackers. Come on. Ooh, doled out for the 30s. Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, let's say it's, uh... Oh, God, I don't know what month it is. Work uniform... Costume for a school play. Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um, uh... Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes <laughs> you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. No word of a lie. Let's go, Marty. We've got a date. Ready to go, Einstein? We've got a dog. We've got an outfit. Sounds perfect. All right. I've got to turn on the time circuits oh, yeah. first. Oops. Time circuits? On. <laughs> flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. <laughs> Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. A couple of I days, you know Marty. what you're Come doing, on. Doc. June 13th, 1931. Hey, 
amazing. So 30s in Hill Valley. Freaking hey, man. Wasn't it the 50s we went to in the original movie? No, I honestly can't remember. Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? Oh, cool. Time traveling does this boy. <laughs> young man, excuse me, young man. Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger <laughs> who single handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh. Uh, ooh. We're not gonna say we know him. There's been some sort of mistake. Carl Sagan arrested in speakeasy. I'm arraigned. I'm a supporter. Ooh, I don't know. Let's say it's a mistake. There's got to be some sort of mistake here. Doc, I mean, uh, uh, Carl wouldn't do something like that. It's surprising the lengths a person will go to when it's a clear-cut matter of right and wrong. You've got an honest look about you. You do support the side of righteousness, I trust. Uh, of course. You can mark me down as a supporter. The young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery. Um, where can we find them? Ask them where I can get the address. Ah, I see! Because you want to blast it to smithereens just like Carl Sagan did. With public-spirited citizens like you around, the lawless element will be on the run in no time. Mr. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Come on, Clint Eastwood. Oh, really? Michael Corleone. <laughs> Michael it. Corleone. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Corleone. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. Oh, no way. That makes sense. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet. I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no. Down, boy. Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Ooh. Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Doc. I gotta find Doc. Yeah, we do. Come on, Ainy. Give us a clue. Uh, maybe the police station. While walking, hold your right mouse button to make Marty run. Uh, look at that. That's not doing anything. Oh, well, he's not running. He's not running. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Speakeasy Ruins, that's cool. Can I save the game now? Save game. Alright, cool. 